First, we have to import the CAD data as a step file. The track itself is a static object, while the shuttle is movable. Now, we'll open the Component Properties I.O. tab. By adding a script to the component, we can create an input constant. After compiling and embedding, we can see the POSX input in the I.O. tab. In order to move the shuttle, we have to make the transformation modifiable by adding a trafo drive. The connection between input constant and trafo drive will be implemented as a script statement. Using the HIL Assistant, we can create and export the communication layer package for BNR Automation Studio. In preparation for our connection, we'll open the COM TCP view. To set up a connection in Automation Studio, we have to import the newly generated zip file and then copy the exported logical folder to our Automation Studio project. The cycle time of our communication task should be set to 10 milliseconds, and the MNG interface program should be added to this task. Now we can build and transfer our program to test it using industrial physics. After waiting for a connection and activating HIL mode, we can test the program by changing the value of the variable shuttle pause X in our Automation Studio watch window. For a complete simulation of our shuttle, we have to add variables for the y-axis and angle A to the component script. After updating the communication layer and copying the newly generated logical folder to our Automation Studio project, we can manipulate the shuttle values for the x and y-axis and angle. We are now ready to test our simulation with a control algorithm. To add more shuttles to our simulation, we can simply copy and paste them. One last update of our communication layer, and we are ready to test our control algorithm with all 80 shuttles.